pass the milk, please? Please pass the milk, please? Please pass the milk, please? Then pan over, stays the same scale, comes back, and now it'll zoom back out. And there he goes. Adds that extra touch of depth to it. And as you see, the sky gives you a little bit of illusion of moving clouds in the background. And even though it's actually not panning along with the composition, I don't know, I think that looks kind of cool. Let's say you don't like that, though. For whatever reason, you think that looks stupid. Okay, fair enough. We'll go to the sky layer, delete it, and go back over to the ground comp. And instead of putting it there, we'll put it in the ground comp. So here we go. It's too small for this comp, but we can pan it over. A little bit bigger. There we are. And so now the clouds are matched to this comp instead of the final comp. And now how it looks in final is you'll see the clouds will move along with the camera too. We zoom in on the clouds. Here we go, we actually pan through the clouds. Okay, we're back. I'm here in the ground comp. We're going to get rid of the sky. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this comp much, much wider. Let's say 2,000 pixels wide. Go to, let's see, 25% so we can see it. Ron, get out of there. We don't need you right now. And we'll move this guy over here. Actually, I'm screwing up again. Just there we go. And then let's just take these hills and duplicate them and move them over this way. And do it again and put them over this way. And now we've got a longer piece of ground. I'm going to now make a new comp called 3D Zoom. I'm going to make it web video size 320 by 240 uh, let's make it five seconds long now nah, we'll 15 seconds again okay what I'm going to do is throw the ground in here just like so I'm going to make it a 3d layer I'm going to click the 3d option here and then I'm going to layer new camera. I'm going to make a camera. Toggle the camera down, transform. Here in the first frame, I'm going to make the position the keyframe. And then here at 15 seconds, I'm just going to push it way, oops, going the wrong way. I'm going to just push it way, way down. You see, the further this number goes, the smaller it gets, just like we're scaling it. But we're actually not scaling it. What we're doing here this is the Z variable. So you've still got X and Y, but Z is now how far away from us is this layer. And with only one layer, it doesn't quite look all that special yet. It just looks like you're scaling back. But as you add more to it, you'll see it's actually a pretty awesome effect. The problem is we've got this piece of black here we don't want, so let's go make a new shape layer just to fill it in and let's see is that actually yeah it actually looks fine sometimes you'll need to add a few keyframes to that chunk and just move it up or down depending on what kind of comp you're dealing with but now we've got the illusion that we're pulling back from a series of mountains. So what else can we do? I don't know. Let's throw some Ron Pauls in there. The only thing better than Ron Paul is multiple Ron Pauls. So I'm going to just shrink him down like so. That's pretty good. Now he's going to just be walking and running in place, but if you have the patience, of course, you can still tween this back and forth and anything else. But for right now, I'm just going to show you the 3D part. Here at Ron Paul, now I'm going to make him a 3D layer. 
and I'm going to just leave the settings, the default settings, the way they are. We zoom out, and Ron Paul disappears too. Still not looking all that special, it looks just like we're scaling out. But as you add a few more of these, and you add them at different depths, it, it makes a pretty cool effect, at least I think so. So here is our second Ron Paul. We're going to go to Transform, Position, we're going to move them back a little bit. We're going to shrink that number down. So, And if you go far enough, you'll see that he disappears because he's actually in front of the camera right now. So if you play it, you'll see how that looks. He kind of warps onto the screen as the camera pulls back. I think that looks really neat. Let's just make some duplicates of them. Just because we can. And then let's go out a little bit further. Do it again. This time we'll pull them out even further. Duplicate them again. You see the effect now is there's this whole army of Ron Pauls and we're just kind of panning out through them. So I, I don't know about you, but I, I think that looks pretty cool. If you want to add an extra touch, obviously we'll see the sky. You don't have the sky in there yet. So let's do this. I'll take the sky layer, I'll drop it in behind everything, and I'm going to scale it way up, just way bigger than I need. And then I'm going to make a keyframe for position and scale and go to the end. I'm going to scale it back down to 100. And the result now is, as we're pulling away, clouds are actually shrinking just a little bit to give the illusion we're pulling away from the sky. But because the sky is further away, it doesn't shrink quite as fast as everything else. That's what makes this 3D effect so cool, is that it actually keeps everything in line. In other words, if you notice, as it's close to the camera, things are moving away very quickly, but as it gets further away from the camera, it kind of slows down as it fades into the uh, horizon point there. So that is how 3D works, or at least my half-ass understanding of it. Really, really cool feature. Uh, you could always do the opposite of this too. You could always, for example, this is a real ugly comp. I'm going to start in the zoom out position and then let's say by here, whoops, too far, there it is. Now let's say we want to go past to about there. Of course, also, the, the other thing to note about the camera, you can mess with more than just the Z. All we're changing now is the Z. You can still pan around sideways like this. I mean, it's, it's really neat. There, there's really uh, a whole lot of stuff you can do with it. The only problem is, as you pan around, sometimes things start looking kind of weird. So, all in all, pretty cool effect, though. Let's put it back up like this. And now let's do a smash zoom. Like if you've ever seen uh, kung fu movies, sometimes they'll do that, where they just zoom in real quick to the hero's face. And shoo, my disc is almost full. You see what you do? My poor computer just can't take this anymore. But uh, boom, right into them. You can just zoom right on in, or you can pull back out, or you can pan over, or you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So. There is the basic idea of how I did this, uh, these different comps. Uh, basically, every, every, every scene you've seen is, is the same as the, these few effects. Sometimes a few more filters added on. Uh, but I have no doubt somebody with talent and patience can take these techniques and make something far cooler than I did. And I really look forward to it. So just send me a link so I can check it out and go make something really cool. Okay, Merry Christmas, and uh, I'll talk to you all after the New Year.